Hello everybody, welcome to day one of Anime Week. I know, it's shocking. I might have told you earlier that we were gonna do this, but I didn't. And here's why. A uh, quick story. I was thinking about doing like a seven full days, which is what I'm doing, seven full days of uploads once, once a day for whenever anime day or weeb day tends to be, and I'll just do the whole week of it. So I looked up when Weeb Day is. National Weeb Day is December 15th. I'm like, well, that's during Weebness, so obviously I can't do it then. Uh, what's National Anime Day? It's April 15th. So I realized that I better get a move on if I'm actually gonna do that this year. So I am. Luckily, I have a couple of videos in mind for kind of special things that we can do right now. One of which is, I bought this. I have two cameras because I'm a professional YouTuber. I have, can you, you want, are you focused? That says Dragon's Treasure, Sebastian's Morning Earl Grey Vanilla Cream Tea. I got this from the Dragon's Treasure, a haven for anime and tea lovers, which there are a couple links in the description. Be sure to check them out. They aren't paying me to do this. I just saw that they have Sebastian's Morning Earl Grey Vanilla Cream Tea, and honestly, it wouldn't be right for me to not review this for you. In fact, it is my civil duty to review this tea for you. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now typically you would want to boil this as it says on here. It gives you instructions which is really nice. It says one teaspoon per eight ounce uh, at boiling temperature or at a boil. So, uh, or for uh, three to five minutes. It doesn't matter for me that much. I just want a hot cup in here, which is equal to two cups, which is going to be two teaspoons because that is how you measure out how much tea you put in it. I also have a colander and some paper towel. That's how you know I'm wealthy, because I have paper towel right now. Um, so I have that and I'm just gonna pour it in there and see what happens. And I'll just review it for you. So what I need to do is I need to measure out two teaspoons into this thingy majiggy that's I mean, I just want to call it a colander, even though it's not quite a colander. It has holes in it, you know? So here's one, and here's two. So it's not at a boil, so it's not really seeped in very well, but it could be worse. Here we go, we got some nice B-roll, my guy. The one thing that you have to know about Earl Grey is that I think that it's just a little too powerful. So if you have uh, Earl Grey uh, just sitting around like in your cupboard with other food, your cabinet's gonna start smelling like Earl Grey, which for some of you is okay, but like if you're keeping it with your foods, it's kind of like So before I actually taste that, let's get a good old whiff of this bag. Mmm, that's strong. Like, to me, Earl Grey smells like Fruit Loops, but like super strong flu Fruit Loops. And then it has like a vanilla heat taste, kind of like a cream soda kind of a taste. There you go, camera, B, AKA my phone. So, for those of you who are wondering, my batteries went, and uh, this, I'm now using my phone to record my voice. Uh, so, here we are. All this, I don't need this for B-roll anymore. So, the initial smell for this, it's not that strong, actually. 
Like, it has that smell of everything that I just mentioned, but it's a whole lot less strong of a smell. It's uh, fruity, but also kind of a sweet smell. Well, hold on. And yeah, it's not that strong. It's, um, which if I'd let it boil more, it probably would be stronger. Uh, but it, I can taste the black tea of it. It's like the orange, it tastes kind of like orange peel, which is part of what's in here. Um, like, uh, just like the black tea I can taste. I can taste like kind of the orange and a little bit of that cream flavor. So those are really showing through. And then, and it has like the aftertaste of vanilla and oranges. It goes down fine, I guess. I mean, you just gulp it. It's not like it, it's not like it goes down smooth and it warms your heart, but it, uh, does still taste pretty good. So overall, let's get this out of the way for you. Overall, this tastes pretty good. Would recommend if you're a tea, tea lover. I would suggest that you actually boil this. You actually take the time to uh, boil it. Unfortunately, I don't have a kettle because I'm definitely a big coffee drinker. I don't drink a whole lot of loose leaf tea. And what tea I do drink, it's usually like a, a bag, like in here. Is this a bag? Let me open this. Is it a... Oh, that's what that is. Oh, okay. So this is a reusable bag. That's cool. I didn't think that's what that was, but it is. And they already have, they already have a bag pre-made with like uh, the amount of, with uh, one teaspoon in it. I'd have to add another one for this uh, cup. But yeah, it's got a little uh, reusable baggie, which I like. Uh, and then, uh, on the back of this has a, uh, discount code for the next order I take. That's very thoughtful of you, Dragon's Treasure. I appreciate that. I will be sure to look into that. And it's cheap. I spent $7. This is $7 for 20 grams, plus that baggie. 20 grams. I don't do... I don't have any idea what that means, actually, if I'm being completely honest. I don't math. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want... Sebastian's Earl Grey. Recommend it. Anything else? No, not really. I like it, so... That means it's time for my anime suggestion of the day. Today, since, you know, it's Black Butler related, I'm gonna suggest that you watch Black Butler. Season one is uh, really good. It's kind of dark. So for those of you who don't really like dark shows, you know, it's kind of dark the first season. Um, season two, don't bother with it at all. Sorry. Don't like it. Uh, Book of Circus it was amazing. Book of Murder was interesting, but like I wasn't that big into it. And uh, Book of Atlantic was just funny. Just ridiculous. So I, I enjoyed that. Which I think is kind of what season two was trying to do. Season two was trying to be uh, funny. But people were just like, ew, you did it bad. You did it bad. 
You did bad. Shame on you. I'm sorry. Okay. There you go. There's my ASMR. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. <gasps>